quickly, uh, Iran, uh, I know we've been following the story from the beginning. Uh, I want to keep following the story. I think this is a crucially important story. It's a story I at least care a lot about, and I hope you do too. Uh, it is a story of a fight for liberty, a fight for freedom. It is the story of an underdog of, of basically girls and women trying to fight against a, a brutal totalitarian regime, a theocracy, not a theocracy in potential, not a theocracy in theory, but a theocracy in practice. Uh, maybe the only theocracy, well, there are other theocracies in the world, but, but probably the most dominant, most oppressive theocracy in the world. Um, and it's amazing that the demonstrations by the girls and the women and, and those men who support them are continuing. They're continuing all over Iran in small towns and large cities, but they are continuing. They have not grown yet and have not uh, to uh, the size of a real revolution. Um, there's no sign, sadly, that there is any real change brewing within the regime itself. Um, there's no resignations of prominent people, although at least one prominent person has disappeared, so maybe that's an indication that he was too supportive of the demonstrators and has been disappeared. Uh, there's no rebellion within the army, there's no rebellion among the police or the, the National Guard, there's no rebellion within, within the clergy, uh, although the, 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 there is one Sunni uh, imam, big, big shot Sunni imam who is supporting the demonstrators, but he's Sunni and Iran is Shiite, so that doesn't really help much. Uh, and we'll see what happens to him. Uh, so the demonstrations continue, but no signs that they are going to lead to an actual revolution, to actual change. The, the demonstrators, if anything, are getting bolder. They're, they're calling more and more and more for regime change, not just for uplifting this law or that law, but actual regime change. So I give them a huge amount of credit for that. Um, and, uh, and, and, and again, they're all over Iran. Uh, there are some indications that this uh, weekend, the Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader of Iran, has given a green light to the security forces to become a lot more violent and to use a lot more violence against the demonstrators. Uh, supposedly, uh, demonstrators machine gunned down in, in parts of northern Iran, particularly in the Kurdistan, in the Kurd area, um, and in the, uh, in the borders with Azerbaijan. These are ethnic groups that are not part of the majority uh, of I the Iranian population. Um, there is also some evidence that the regime is now engaged in full-fledged attacks on the Kurds. Uh, interestingly, just as an aside note, uh, there was, a, there was a, an attack uh, yesterday, coordinated attack by both Iran and Turkey, and Turkey, who both view the Kurds as enemies. Uh, Turkey attacked the Kurds because supposedly a terrorist attack in Istanbul uh, last week, um, and, uh, and the Iranians attacked the Kurds because of, I think, these demonstrations. Both attacked the Kurds in a coordinated effort. They attacked the Kurds in Iraq, so in a third country, um, in, in terms of uh, both uh, artillery and uh, missile attacks. So, um, I, I, you know, Kurdistan in uh, Iraq is one of the, the, the freest uh, and more prosperous areas in the Middle East because of it is free. Uh, but now it has two very powerful enemies, both Iran and Turkey. So something to watch for. So no big news in Iran. Demonstrations continue. Crackdowns will probably now intensify. Still no cracks in the regime. Nothing to indicate anything is really going to change. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making an appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.